Hi there. I'm Warren Cooper, sales associate for the Art Van Furniture Company and three-time Olympic gold medal winner. Okay, I was kidding. Two-time Olympic gold medal winner. Anyway, a short time ago, I was approached by the Committee for Reinventing the Guest Experience and asked if I couldn't put together a short film that would help our sales associates to enhance the environment in which our guests experience when they first enter the art van store. We explored a lot of avenues, looked at a lot of things, and we did put together a little film, but rather than me talk about it, let's go right to the film. This is the atrium of the Tech Plaza Art Van store. This is often the very first experience a customer has when they enter the Art Van store. It's important to make their first experience a pleasant one, a non-threatening one. Rather than jumping on the customer, pouncing on them as soon as they come into the atrium, we're encouraging you to give the customer time to get into the store, maybe get into a mattress aisle, or get into a leather gallery, before you greet the customer. If you would consider that this atrium area is off limits, as if there were a yellow caution tape blocking off the hook. What the hell are you doing? You said the atrium was off limits? I said pretend that the atrium Get that out of here. Yeah, but pretend. Yeah, but I'm sorry. So an alternative to greeting the customer here in the atrium would be allowing the customer to get further into the store perhaps into the leather gallery, perhaps into the desk over here, and then allow the customer to feel like they're in the store and not being pounced on immediately from the time they come through the door. Let's go over to another area and show how a guest can be allowed to come in, go into the store, and be greeted in a more casual and less threatening manner. Hi, welcome to our van. In this next example, we see a guest who, upon detecting that the sales associate has spotted him, decides he must take evasive action.
Let me ask you something. What were you, what were you, what were you looking for? Tables, uh, sofas, bedroom sets. What were you looking for? Clearance center. Oh, yeah, let me show you. Come on. Let me show you. Now, let's take a look at three quick examples of things not to do. Let's take a quick look at another less threatening greeting. keep your guest in view, it's equally important to make sure that your guest doesn't feel as if they're being stalked or threatened. who feel stalked or threatened may sometimes resort to extraordinary measures to avoid any contact with a sales associate. Oftentimes this can lead to tragic consequences. <laughs>
Finally, let's take a look at what can happen when a group of guests become fed up with an overly aggressive sales associate. You'll notice in this little clip that if not for the quick thinking of the sales associate, it could have ended with far more calamitous consequences. Hope you enjoyed the film. Now I'd like to take just a minute to go over what we learned from the film. A recap, so to speak. First, it's important not to pounce on the customer the minute they come in the store. Secondly, it's important not to stalk the customer, make them feel threatened. Third, it's important to not be overly aggressive. Allow the customer to shop in a leisurely manner. Oh! And fourth, and most important, never kill a customer.
Thank <laughs> you.